Okay, so that was number th three. Now, here's the other cool thing, and we, we talked about this in the bebop scale lessons. Um, I, I played number three normal the first time, and then I did it again with triplets, okay? And we, we talked about that. It's, it's where, but instead of going one, two, one, two, doing eighth notes, one and two and three and four and, I'm thinking one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, ta, 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 ta. And I'm tonguing it like it was eighth notes. I'm taking that triplet pulse, one, two, three, one, two, three, ta, 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 and tonguing it with a jazz articulation and feel. And so that's what I did for number three. I put on the music and I went. So you can do that, or you can do 16th notes, or you can do groups of sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's hard to say. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. I'm doing three twice, which is six. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you you tongue that with a jazz articulation. And I cover all those in the bebop scale lessons and in the um, I have a um, lesson on playing with a triplet pulse. So basically, I'm, you're playing on the off beats, but then you're playing. You have all those different time feels that you can play with. And it sounds like it's floating, and I just think it's cool. And then the last thing I demonstrated was just playing a couple of those links starting on the offbeat with either the uh, A, C, E, or F sharp, or G if you prefer. <laughs> 